One sunny day, our friends Kilo and Mindy decided to embark on an exciting journey to Australia. As their airplane soared, they peered out the window, marveling at the breathtaking view of the Great Barrier Reef. Minty, did you know the Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef, stretching over 2,300 kilometers? It's so vast that it's visible from space. Kilo explained with wide eyes. Upon landing, the duo wasted no time and headed straight for their first adventure. They decided to try something daring, parasailing. Kilo and Minty strapped themselves onto the colorful parasail. As the wind caught the fabric, they flew higher and higher into the sky. Kilo's whiskers wiggled with excitement, and Minty held on tight. This is amazing, cried Kilo, Wohoo! yelled Minty, but fate had a surprise waiting for them. Suddenly, the rope that tied them onto the boat snapped. A huge gust of wind blew them further and further away from the boat. There they were, floating in midair, their parasail carrying them away like a lost balloon. The wind is carrying us straight to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Kilo said as their parachute headed straight for the majestic bridge. Soon, their parachute got caught in the steel beams of the structure. Never thought we'd see the bridge from this angle, said Kilo. Me neither, said Minty. Kilo and Minty unstrapped themselves from the parasail and started calling for help. Help, cried Kilo and Minty as they clung tightly to the bridge's railing at the top of the bridge. Just then, they noticed a friendly koala named Coco walking by. Help, they called out. I think I hear someone calling for help, Coco says while well, she looks around but doesn't see anyone. Up here, cried Kilo and Minty. Coco looked up and saw Kilo and Minty clinging to the iron bars. Don't worry, I'll get help, Coco reassured them as she quickly ran to get help. Coco fetched her friend, a kangaroo named Kanga. The two stood below, pondering how to rescue the duo. How are we going to help them? Coco asked, worried. I wish we had one of those air-filled mats they can fall on, Kanga said, as she looked around for anything they could make use of. Hurry, we're slipping! Cried Kilo and Minty. I have an idea, Coco exclaimed. Why don't you stretch your patch out, and they can aim and jump inside? Okay, you guys better have good aim, Kanga warned. Kilo and Mindy took a deep breath and leaped, aiming for the pouch. Miraculously, they landed safely inside. Good day, says Kanga and Coco. Thank you so much for helping us, says Kilo and Minty. No worries, says Kanga. We have to get going though. The famous singer Darwin has a concert at Sydney Opera House, explains Coco. Kilo and Minty bid farewell to their new friends and headed to the Sydney Opera House. There, they saw a flyer announcing a concert by the famous cat singer named Darwin. Hey, this cat looks just like you. Minty pointed out, you're right, Kilo agreed, a bit startled. Curious, they decided to attend the concert. But as they approached the entrance, a group of kangaroo security guards mistook Kilo for Darwin and whisked them backstage. Wait, where are you taking us? Kilo and Minty protested, but it was too late. They were pushed onto the stage, facing thousands of cheering fans. Wow, I think they mixed you up with the famous singer Darwin, Minty whispered. What do we do now? Kilo asked nervously. I think it's too late to leave, Minty replied. Suddenly, the music started, and Kilo, fueled by adrenaline, began to sing a song he made up on the spot. <laughs> Bravo the audience cheered. 
After the performance, they met the real Darwin, who thanked them for filling in. I was held up in traffic because there were snakes crossing the street. But you guys did great up there, Darwin said with a wink. Relieved, Kilo and Minty returned to their hotel, declaring it the most memorable trip ever. And so, the story of Kilo and Minty's Australian adventure became a tale they would tell for years to come. To be continued, please like and subscribe for more Kilo and Minty stories.